Hi, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and welcome to our Gerbing's Heated Jacket Liner and Pant Liner Buying Guide video. Basically, in this video, we're going to talk about a lot of things relating to the jacket, relating to the pants. Here's a jacket that I have sitting to my left right here. As you can see, it's very thin. It's meant to be worn as a mid-layer. It's meant to extend your riding season in a very cold temperature. Um, basically, this technology is the most high-end technology for heated gear that we do carry here at Revzilla. And through this video, we're going to show you how to, how to fit it how to size it, how the features break down, and we're gonna go from there. Also be sure to check out any of our other videos, bike connection, overview, glove overview. We have a few videos in the Gerbings lineup that you can check out at revzilla.com slash Gerbings along with the product to help fill in the blanks. So starting off, let's talk a little bit about Gerbings, let's talk a little bit about heated gear. A lot of people ask us, why would I need heated gear? Well, everybody's temperature tolerances are a little different. So you really can't go by how cold it is outside. What you really have to go by is what your tolerance is to cold weather. So as you go down, as temperatures drop, think of if you're at speed on a bike, we typically say, you know, subtract 20 degrees from the ambient outside air temp, and that's what it's gonna feel like on a bike. So as you go down to that 50 degrees outside, 40 degrees, if you wanna get down closer to 30, you really have to think about what that's gonna be like when you're getting hit with full wind on a bike. You can really extend your riding season by using heated gear. You know, even some of the top end thermophils that we use in some of our jackets or gloves only will take you so far as you're getting hit with extreme cold weather. So if you use a heated liner or a heated, a heated glove, it's gonna allow you to extend that riding season. What we like to uh, always say, and Gerbing says it all the time, is yeah, as long as you have traction and you have heated gear, there's a ride waiting for you somewhere. So basically, the other thing you need to know about Gerbings is they've been making heated gear for about 35 years. It's all they do, and a big big piece that drives their technology is Department of Defense contracts. So while they make motorcycle gear, they make adventuring gear, you know, outside of the motorcycle realm, they also make military grade stuff. And that military grade technology then gets trans over, transferred over into the consumer product and what ends up happening is you have a really, really high end piece of equipment that wasn't necessarily developed specifically just for the average motorcycle rider. The big claim to fame is you see a lot of other competitors out there that make heated gear, they use copper wire. Gerbings has, in 2009, transferred to their newest standard they call microwire, which is stainless steel filaments that are very small and very thin. I want you to come in here tight and look. This is actually one of the heated elements. You see each one of these white threads has tiny, tiny stainless steel filaments that are not copper, that are smaller than a human hair, that carries heat. It's very flexible, it's very durable, and the big piece is it goes from zero to heated in four seconds. That was actually one of the advancements through the military side of things that, uh, that really drove it. How quickly can it heat up? How quickly can you adjust it? So now we have Patrick in the full Gerbings jacket liner and the full Gerbings pant liner. These are the mainstays in the Gerbing lineup. Most people start with either a jacket or a pair of gloves. I want to stress that there's a level of flexibility here. You can start with any piece in the lineup you want. They'll all come with the proper connectors for your battery and you decide on what controller you wanna get. Typically when people go with a jacket, we recommend going to the dual controller because it gives them the best flexibility later to expand. Basically what you're gonna notice is a full nylon outer. Stuff is meant to fit snug. Patrick's wearing a small long. Long is just the sleeve length because he's a little bit longer than average arms. Patrick's about a 39 inch chest and he's a 33, 34 inch sleeve. So he goes from a small regular to a small long, just to change the sleeve length here. And he's wearing a small pair of pants too. Stress the fit on this guy. It's meant to fit like a turtleneck. It's meant to fit over a base layer and under a shell. This actually saves you a lot of bulk in packing. You don't have to pack sweatshirts. You don't have to pack fleeces. You don't have to pack different levels of linings because with the temperature controller on this guy, you can adjust from zero to 135 degrees to really work on your core and your arms and your legs and get your body in the, in the right temperature that you need to be to be most comfortable. You know, you wanna be temperature neutral. You don't wanna be either too hot or too cold. You don't wanna be sweating. You don't wanna be freezing regardless of what the temperature outside of your body is. So let's look at the jacket here. Let's talk about that microwire that I talked about runs throughout this jacket. Seven panels on the jacket have microwire where it's built in to the fabric. It sits underneath underneath the outer shell. There's a light thin slate liner that's in there just to retain, retain some of that warmth. But basically you have seven panels. Chest, chest, arm, arm, you have two back panels and you have it sewn into the collar as well. So you have seven zones on this jacket that are gonna heat up and keep your whole top half warm and climate controlled. Basically keeps you more alert, keeps you comfortable, lets you enjoy your ride. Battling mother nature, kind of sticking it to her as well. On the pants, you're gonna have 
two major zones. You're going to have full front of the leg, side of the leg, you're going to have hip. It's major panels that go down the fronts and sides, starting with your hip on the pant for connection. Doesn't really do the back of the legs, doesn't really do the inside of the arms. It's not really meant for areas that aren't going to get a ton of of windage against them. It's really built for areas that are going to be the closest to the exposed areas, you know, exposed areas of your jacket. Now notice on the collar, we have a comfort lined collar, we have a zipper garage here. Keep that out of your face. Go ahead, Patrick, I want you to unzip that guy. Let me show what the inside looks like. You have a single pocket here. Inside is lined as well. And I want to show the PDU here, which is your connector. Now basically, if you're going jacket and pants, a lot of people start to think, well, jacket, pant, gloves, you know, boot liners or insoles, how many wires are we, am I going to be running to the bike? Regardless of what piece you're using in the Gerbings lineup, it's one connection to your battery. And that goes to your temperature controller. Temperature controller connects to everything else. So now I'm going to grab the temperature controller. I'm actually going to show a dual zone. A dual zone temperature controller is the direction you want to go if you start with a jacket liner. The dual zone allows you the flexibility to really beef up and go from there and control. It basically does jacket and then everything else. So your jacket would be the first knob, the pants, boot soles, and gloves are going to be the second knob. It gives you that flexibility. So basically you're going to have one wire that connects to the power that would go to your battery or your, or your power adapter that would go in an AC adapter on your bike. And you have two wires that go to the jacket. The first one is the white wire. It's going to go white to white. You see there's a white ring around that. This is your jacket. That's going to go to your, your silver first knob and that's going to be your jacket control. The second one goes to the second slot and that actually is going to be the ancillary slot that's going to run power to your pants and everything else. Now while I have this connected here, Patrick, I'm actually going to ask you to hold it. I'm going to show how the pants connect. So this pocket here has your pants connector that you'd run up inside. It's yellow. Connect that guy. So now your pants are wired. They're on the second knob as I mentioned. And basically it's going to flow power back basically down your arms as well as down your legs. So now if I grab a glove, which I also have behind me here. Patrick, do me a favor, hold it with that hand, there you go, you're connected. If I throw this glove on, I'm going to show you that the liner comes pre-wired so you don't have to run anything down the inside of your sleeves. Now you have your glove liners, they're on the second knob, different level of control there, so you have two control areas. And Now also, if I crouch down here, I'm going to show you, here's our insole replacement. So this is a heated insole, it replaces the insole that's already in your boot. I would come down, it's got its wire, I actually have the one exposed here on the left even though this is a right insole, but you plug in here. So basically, this is the full Gerbing setup. You have insoles, you have gloves, you have jacket liner, you have pant liner, and basically the jacket's on its own knob for control. The pants, the insoles, and the gloves are on their own knob as well. And there's a multitude of ways that you can connect to your bike with this. You can go direct to the battery, you could go to a installed powerlet, you can basically go to a um, basically to any to any 12 volt that you have already. And you can install Gerbing sells accessories where you can install your own separate outlet if you want it as well. So basically this is going to be your mid layer and it's going to replace the thermal lining that middle layer on anything that you're wearing. Remember you have 199 for the jacket, 199 for the pants. A range of prices right around, ranging from $79 to 169 on the gloves and you also be 59.99 on the soles themselves. If you have any questions about this stuff, shoot us a line 877-792-9455 or cs at revzilla.com via email. We also have a handful of other videos including connection to the bike as well as fitment that you can watch and help connect the dots on your own before you uh, take the chance to give us a shout if you're still having any problems kind of figuring out how all this stuff goes together. It's pretty simple once we break it down, but it can be a little, um, a little bit daunting if you're just getting into heated gear um, until you really understand how it connects to the bike. Basically, any of this stuff's over $39 is all going to ship for free. If you decide that you got the wrong size and you'd like to exchange it, we'll do a free first size exchange and anything over hundred bucks you can earn Teamzilla loyalty cash applied to your next purchase. Check it out at revzilla.com slash I'm Anthony. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you next time on Revzilla TV.